So you want to learn how to integrate existing products from Stripe into your Go High Level dashboard. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer and walk through it. Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Frank. I make Go High Level videos and Go High Level tutorials, as well as have podcasts with some really cool people. But today we're going to be going over exactly how to integrate existing Stripe products into your Go High Level dashboard. In a different tab here, I'm in high level under the payments tab, under the products tab, as you can see here. So a lot of people don't know how to go ahead and import products to Stripe and they just don't understand why certain products aren't showing up right here. And I was so confused as to why my one-time transaction type of products were not showing up here. And it's because you can't import products that are only one-time charges. You can only import products that are monthly recurring or yearly recurring or any form of recurring fee. So if you're like me and you do offer some sort of one-time servicing or one-time mentorship or some sort of one-time setup fee, you actually have to go and create it here inside of high level. So as an example, let's just go ahead and do one time setup under product type we're going to keep it as a service because one time setup fee we're doing a service for the business owner pricing name i'm just going to go up here and just copy the same name and just paste it here and let's just say the amount is going to be 300 how about that now we're going to go ahead and create that so what we just did there is we created a new one-time fee or one-time transaction product inside of high level and what's really interesting is this is now going to go ahead and reflect in our stripe account so let me go back to stripe let me go ahead and refresh and it should pop up right here so as you can see one time setup test has shown inside of stripe now what we're going to do is click on that product and there's no price set so we're going to go ahead and go to edit i'm going to go ahead and click add price and I'm gonna click on 300, the same price that's in high level. And I'm gonna change it to one time and then click on save product. So what's really interesting and what's pretty cool is now when you go ahead and link this new product to whether a, a transaction page or an order form, this is now gonna go ahead and communicate with your Stripe account and charge the person you know, $300. And we can go ahead and go to create payment link and you'll be able to see what it'll look like for the customer when they go ahead and get sent a link to be charged the $300 for this example here. Now let's go ahead and go back and create a product that's gonna be recurring. We're gonna keep this as recurring right here and just name it testing recurring product. We're gonna keep the billing period as weekly and then we're gonna do $15 for a week just as the example here. So now we're gonna click on save product. Now, let me go back to high level and see if this shows up. Let me go ahead and refresh this right here. Since we've gone ahead and refreshed, let's go ahead and import from Stripe. And now we should see the new $15 per week product right here. Setup fee, nothing right there. Import products from Stripe and there we go. So I hope that was pretty straightforward. Now when you go ahead and have, like I said, some order form or a two-step order confirmation form, you'll be able to link this product on that form and on that checkout page and have it set up there for a monthly and weekly recurring whatever recurring basis you want or the one-time fee there. And one thing I do want to mention as well, it's important is if you do go ahead and update your pricing inside of the high level dashboard or Stripe dashboard, make sure they're the same price because you don't want to update this and have it say $30 and then the Stripe account only still charge the person $15. Just make sure when you're changing stuff to keep everything synced. And if you're still having problems, make sure to go ahead and check out this high level blog here. I'll make sure to go ahead and drop the link in the description for you to check it out. Just goes over stuff a little bit more. But before I wrap this up as well, I wanna go over this with you. I am offering everything here completely for free. My entire snapshots, my entire templates, completely 30 day extended free trial with high level, uh, all this stuff. And the course material is about three hours ish, give or take. I'm giving you all this completely for free. Uh, a lot of people have been having a lot of success as you can see here. Uh, no strings attached. You guys can go ahead and start your Go High Level free trial if you are new to High Level. We do have approximately 210 members. I'm only really accepting 300 people total to kind of go over inside of our Discord here. So if that does interest you, I'll leave that link in the description as well. Completely free, no strings attached to help you go from zero to 100, A to Z, setting up your entire high level agency. And if you wanna get off of Stripe because they're either charging a lot in fees or they're just holding money from you or just not really helping you in terms of support, Make sure to check out the video on screen because I have access to a private payment solution to save money on fees, prevent any holds from happening in the future, and as well provide a one-on-one -on -one support representative. Make sure to check that out if you're any sort of business owner that wants to save more money. But I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, go ahead and check out my other content regarding high level or check out some of my other podcasts with some interesting people. I'll see you guys in the next video.